What's up, y'all? We are live. I'm live from Minute Maid Park. I just watched Ronel Blanco throw a complete game no hitter. Eric, I started filming this in the in the bot in the top of the eighth inning. Okay, I, I I filmed all the outs in the eighth inning, and I didn't say a single word about a no hitter. I just said he's one out closer to hopefully going to the ninth inning and getting a complete game. When he went to the ninth, and then they got the walk, and then the little scribbler to. Abreu, I was like, oh, crap, we're not going to get it. And we got it. Ronel Blanco came out and absolutely dealt. But it, that's the highlight of the game, Eric. But also, there's an offense that happened, too. So, Eric, right. where can they find you, man? What's up? Uh, first of all, Jainel Diaz, this is Locked On Astros. to Locked On Astros, your daily Astros podcast. Here are your hosts, Eric the Man Heisman and Brett H-Town Wheelhouse Chansey. We are Locked On Houston Astros and we hope that you join us for a daily Locked On Astros podcast. My name is Eric Heisman. You can find me on X at Eric Talks You can find the show at Locked On Astros your team every day this episode is brought to you by game time be like brett is just go up to the game the day <laughs> of watch a freaking no hitter for a low price go to game time that's how you get into the game and guys thank you for making the locked on astros podcast your first listen every day whether it's on youtube go and subscribe to us go and make us your first listen apple odyssey spotify wherever you listen to your podcast go and check us out and yes i'm in a hospital room I'm with my girlfriend. I'm like, I had to do a podcast right now uh, because, yeah, Ronel Blanco, eighth career start, 17th uh, no hitter in Astros history. What the heck, dude? What the heck? And what's dude. up to all our listeners? Hey, all I got to say is props to us. What other podcast does what we do? You record live from the stadium, live from the hospital. Nobody does more than us, Eric. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. This was a game for the ages. We literally came off a just butt whooping by the Yankees. And I know the games were close, but our offense was just minuscule, was terrible. And everybody showed up. Jeremy Pena getting off the snide first bomb since July 5th, 2023. Yiner Diaz, or let's call him Yiner Bombs, gets up there two home runs. Kyle Tucker doesn't hit one just to left. He hits one to right. And then Ronell, the O, and Blanco stands for no hits, goes and throws a no-hitter. I'm telling you, man, this is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. This is how you turn it around. I'm not saying, like, everybody's like, we're going to miss the playoffs. After this, we're going to win the freaking World Series. Uh, Yeah, my voice was not there yesterday, but I was going to say – you know, the Astro, no team has made the playoffs after starting 0 and 4 since the uh, 2021 Atlanta Braves. But this is uh, definitely a change of mood. This is a home winning. I'm getting echo right now, Brett. Meet yourself. Uh, but this is definitely a uh, home winning curse breaker. That's what I'm saying. When somebody throws a no hitter, and you score, what was it, nine, ten runs? I forgot what it was. I was focused on Ronel Blanco at this point. But when you have a game like this where you not just win, but you win by just a huge factor, I mean, this is going to break the curse of winning at home. I think you're going to see uh, the Astros just um, – I'm not going to say they're going to go on this huge winning streak, but I think they're going to play a lot better at home uh, from this point on. And you just saw a lot more confident team. Uh, every one of their bats, you saw them, even their outs, they were uh, making some good swings in this situation. And I think that uh, it all started with R- Ronel Blanco. And uh, he was he started late, a 28-year-old pitcher. When he got to uh, – he was just kind of a journeyman guy. And uh, after the game, uh, Brett, I told you this before the podcast, he said he dedicated this to his daughter and to God. And so wow. uh, this is just a awesome moment for a pitcher that, uh, because of a couple of injuries, was able to be in the starting rotation. And yeah. not only did he just hold a Blue Jays sta- uh, offense down, he freaking no-hit them. 
I mean, of all the pitchers, you would think, not Ronel Blanco, but hats off to you, dude. You did a great job. Yeah, Ronel Blanco has had the stuff, and he, he has shown flashes of brilliance in his young career. And he's had success in the lead-on league. He's had success in AAA. He's had success in the spring. The question has been, can he put it together for a full game in the major leagues? And, and Eric, his stuff was working early. Now, I didn't realize, honestly, it was a no-hitter until the fifth inning. And I was looking at the scoreboard, and I was like, wow, I think it was like six or seven runs at the time. And then I was like, like I just kind of jumped. And Mike, who who got who gave me the ticket, by the way, our tickets from game time sitting in section 107 row 25, 24 bucks a piece. Okay. Wow. We 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 got to see a no hitter for less than 50 bucks combined. And so I went ahead and paid the $35 parking right next to the stadium, right? Well, um, Ronel Blanco, when I realized what he was doing, I looked at him and he was like, he looked at me and we both knew not to say a word. I was going to text a friend of mine who I've been communicating with Ronel Blanco in the offseason to a, a, a personal friend of his that we share, Eric. Hold on. And um, and I almost sent her a text. And I thought, no, if I text her, I'm going to jinx it. I never used the word no hitter. I never used I, – I never even said it. So right. it's something to be said about that. But this offense came out now. The only thing I want to see happen now – is I need Jordan Alvarez to have a big game tomorrow because he he did not have a great game tonight. He hit a ball really long in the outfield, but Jordan Alvarez is definitely, I don't know if he's comfortable in the two hole. And that's something we may need to discuss at another time. I know a lot of people have been kind of discussing, uh, is Joe Spada have the right lineup right now? Um, I know that even when we had, um, uh, when we had, who was it we had on the other day? I'm so excited I can't even think. Um, Joe Gardner on the other day. Uh, he was saying that he would put uh, Alvarez in the third spot in the lineup. So, but at the same time, it just to see what happened in this game, it just was. I, I'm still amazed that Ronel Blanco was just able to go out there and just deal. And this is his first complete game. Uh, and uh, he was he did have that walk in the ninth inning, and with all the pressure on him, he was able to maintain the composure and just go out yep. there and just get the job done. Okay, I was trying to highlight a comment. If anybody out there knows Jeremy Ramirez, <laughs> I accidentally ban him. <laughs> I hit the ban button. I was trying to highlight his comment, and there goes Eric. So anyways, um, just if y'all know Jeremy Ramirez or you see him on here, tell him that it was a total, total accident. But we need to win this series. We need to win at least two of three. From the um, from the Blue Jays, we got 222 of y'all on here. Number one, I want to thank y'all for getting us to 11,000 subscribers. Number two, I want to thank 232 of y'all joining and people blowing up my phone as I'm here live. I got to tell my friends to get on here live. They're sitting there blowing my phone up, Eric. Um, I can't respond to their text. Um, but dude, what a great night! What a great night! And hey, I've I've got to tell y'all a couple things you can do. You can catch Eric and I in different places. You can catch Eric with the PSF, right? Pro Sports Fan Network. Yes. Uh, you can, Streaking you can Orange, catch, yes. Yeah. So it, it's called Streaking Orange. Find them there. They'll do live in-game commentaries. Tonight, midnight, the premiere episode of Back to the Bullpen with Mike and Brett. That's Mike Stanton, 19-year veteran, three-year, three-time World Series champion, one-time All-Star, and me, 2002 dodgeball champion, we are teaming up, and we'll be on there tonight to break down the Astros' first series, probably tonight's game, and stuff around the league. So make sure y'all tune in tonight at midnight. That episode will premiere. So um, after we get off here, I'll go home and record that show. Um, and, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited for the season. Um, I've been excited for the season. I know the Yankees series was less than a desirable outcome, but at the end of the day, this Astros team ultimately knows how to win. And Joyce Bottle was right. I like the fight in this team. Right. And I just saw a little tidbit as I went to uh, X. Um, this is the earliest in the season ever that a no hitter has been thrown. I mean, you're talking about game four and this is a, I a didn't team think about that. Wow. Uh, you, you're talking about um, normally pitchers aren't this stretched out and the, how efficient Ronel Blanco had to be 
to uh, be able to, I mean, yes, he allowed that one walk early in the game. And I think I was driving around trying to um, go back to the apartment, get some stuff and then come back to the hospital. But I heard that one walk. I'm like, oh, here we go again. Ronel Blanco walking batters. But then he just went out there and uh, just settled down and got the job done. And I didn't even walk another batter until the uh, ninth inning. And I mean, this is just something that dreams are made of for somebody like Ronel Blanco, somebody that uh, is just coming out of nowhere. And I, I'm in a fancy baseball thing and there's people from out of the state and they're like, who the heck is Ronel Blanco? Now people are gonna know who Ronel Blanco is. And this is just, uh, I think the Yankees series really pissed the Astros off. And well, they're like, well, yeah, we're, we're not going to do this anymore. So I went on the podcast and I, oh my God, the podcast escapes my name. I think it's day. I think it's days for Jays or days of Jays, something like that on Instagram. If y'all follow me on Instagram, I will show you guys. Um, I, I will tag the show I was in and he did tell me that tonight they have a rookie, a minor leaguer basically going on the mound and that the Astros might have a field day. And so I'm just letting you know that it is it, it the results for what the Astros had was to be expected. And then IKF got on the mound. Isaiah Connor Falefa got up. I was like, wait, who's throwing meatballs? And it was IKF and they were popping them up. Of course they're popping them up because it's like trying to get a baseball player to hit a softball pitch. You know, he's slow pitching, but hey, man, he didn't do a bad job. Um so this, Wait, it was exactly 100 pitches? I didn't get a chance to see that because I was trying to set up for the podcast real quick. But um, also, this is, um, I said, 17th um, career. I mean, this is 17th uh, no-hitter in Astros history. This is actually the 16th during the regular se- season. The oh. other one was during uh, the, uh, the playoffs, remember? Against uh, the Javier one. Right, the combined no-hitter. Um, exactly. Um, and this is, that's right. Brian's like, this is not an April fool's joke. That's correct. Um, and yeah, dude, what up? What a game, Eric, what a freaking game. Um, you know what, Eric, um, why don't I tell the people about game time real quick? Because game time got me to the, got me to the game tonight and I'm, and I'm going to share with y'all, um, game time. So y'all know how to, how to get to a game. Where is my game time read? Um, just read it. I'll find it. No, that's okay. I got you right here. It's right here. All right, guys, this episode is brought to you by game time. Use the code first pitch for $20 off your minimum of $150 purchase tonight. I was at the game with a friend. Mike so kindly bought me a ticket. It was $24. Our tickets were only $48. Now this code wouldn't have applied because we got the tickets so cheap, but if you wanted to sit even closer, we probably could have sat in the diamond club tonight. For about 200, 250 bucks, we would have got $20 off that. Go to game time today, use the promo code first pitch, and you'll get $20 off your first purchase of $150 or more. That's right. Um, You go, you don't have to plan in advance. You don't have to worry about going, oh, I don't have a ticket to the game. You literally walk up to the gate, and it doesn't have to just be baseball, it could be basketball. I mean, the Rockets are chasing a playing spot. It could be I mean, if you like the opera, I'm not an opera guy. If you like plays, if you like comedy, whatever you want here in Houston, and if it's on the Game Time app, you can get it. You can go to Final Four if you want to out in Arizona. I believe that's where it is this year. I mean, fly your fly your tail over there and go watch Final Four. Go to Game Time today. Use the code First Pitch for twenty dollars off your minimum of one hundred fifty dollars purchase. Go do that today. Hey, um, I just found out something else that Joe Espada is the first manager in MLB history to get his first win with a no hitter. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Wow, that's dude. This is a historical night. This and was a historical night. And hey, look, I'm wearing the Astros BGO '94 jersey. I'm wearing the tribute to the same era. Could we say luck piece? Do I need to go to tomorrow night's game, Eric? Uh, sure. Yeah, if you could get $24 tickets, go to tomorrow night's game. I, if I could I get $24 tickets, I think I might be going tomorrow night, boys and girls. Yeah. Um, should Brett go to game tomorrow? Is he good luck? Just thumbs up. Oh, um, she did not give you a thumbs up. Um, so. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> you, can't, you can't go by someone who's in the hospital. Maybe she's under heavy, you know, opioids or something. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
but um, he's also the tenth different Dominican pitcher to throw a no hitter in MLB history. So uh, Ronel Blanco, uh, just I, I just can't. I'm still amazed at what he did, and on 100 pitches exactly, it's just amazing to. to I mean, I was watching pretty much the whole thing. Uh, I couldn't get it on the TV at the hospital, but I was watching it on my phone, and it just was um, just awesome experience and uh the offense we can't get away from the offense i mean this was uh we we're talking about a astros team that couldn't find any extra base hits yeah. in the first series and yes we had a few home runs here or there uh, i know jake myers had one but you, i think the astros had what five or six extra base hits in the first three games and then all of a sudden uh they do what they did today and it's just this is what this is the it's not just uh, Ronel Block. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from what he did, but uh, it's what they did offensively. You're talking about Yiner's home runs, uh, two home runs, and you're talking about Tucker and uh, uh, who else? It was uh, Pena and somebody else had a home run. I, I can't think about it on top of my head, but uh, it just. Well, you had Yiner had two home runs, Kyle Tucker had two home runs, and Jeremy Pena had a home run. There were five home runs. Okay. Oh, in yeah. The, yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, so um, it was just an overall great offense, and they didn't give up, even though it, it, there's no hitter going. Everybody knows what's going on, and there's a big lead. They, they didn't uh, relent. Uh, they were relentless, so to speak. That's right. And they took care of business. And it just – this is the team that they should have been, not the team that put their tail between their legs against the Yankees. And I, I've never seen the Astros – actually play like they did against the Yankees where uh, they just didn't really uh, they, they they felt like they're overmatched against the Yankees and I don't think they are I think they they're um, better than the Yankees or they're on a, a, a same level but I just don't understand what happened I don't that's why I um, I didn't get a chance to talk to you yesterday about it but I felt like once there's a change of um, a competitor, I thought that the Astros would be playing a much better baseball, and that's what we saw here. And uh, a lot of, it's amazing how people will turn on the manager just like that. It's four games. You can't worry about it. Yes, we're still one and four. It's good. It's a uphill uh, hill to climb, climb, but we still have 150-something games left. It's not anything I'm worried about. 157 games, right? Or, Yeah. Well, we've – We've we played five games, so you just take five minus one sixty two. Yeah, so one fifty seven. Yeah, one. So anyway, yeah, yeah. I think this. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But I'm. Well, you were there. What was the atmosphere like? I mean, well, was everybody on deal. pins and needles? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Um, about going into the seventh inning, the crowd got quieter when he was pitching and every time the ball even touched the bat, you would hear, you would kind of hear like people react. And I, cause I had clued in on up by the sixth inning. And so I just knew that we had to wait until like, and so that's why I was like, well, I'm not going to start recording until the eighth inning. And I may have recorded in the seventh inning. I can't remember, but I filmed it all. I have it on the mic. I have it on camera. I'm going to put it together in a video, a tribute to Ronel Blanco's first career no-hitter. It's going to be really cool. So, and that's, I'm actually communicating with one of his people right now. So, um, so I know y'all can't see either one of us, but Eric, I don't know where Eric, Eric keeps going. Hey, Eric, I need you to talk to the people. I need to talk to a friend real quick. Just give me one second. Okay. All right. So, um, what were, what be, what do y'all think about the Astros so far? Now that we've seen the first five games of the season, after the first four, Astros Twitter was a buzz. Everybody said it, uh, the season's over, everything. I know that mathematically, uh, no team that's ever gone zero and six has ever gone to the playoffs. Um, so definitely, the first win is big win for the Astros, and this was a much needed win. But what's your confidence level? I know from Valdez, he looked a little wild. But otherwise, the starting pitching has looked great. Bullpen, bullpen has been an issue. And so uh, that's that's something that we got to address. I know Alvarez has not been 
crushing the ball yet. And maybe, oops, sorry. Uh, maybe he has not, uh, like Brett said, he's not really comfortable in the position he's in. But um, that's something that as a baseball player, you've got to adjust. Um, I really don't think that's what it is. Maybe it's just he's just, just he wasn't really clicking in spring training that much either. So um, Alvarez. So somebody was asking yeah. about um, he'll be back. He's now. I mean, somebody asked about Alvarez. So um, so what is our genius saying? Can't be worried after five games. What would we be doing here? Oh yeah, I know. But uh, a lot of people were. No, we're not. No, no. no. X X was flipping out. Uh, Astros Facebook was. Oh yeah, out. like Astros oh, yeah, Facebook. Echo again. Well, a- Astros Facebook makes X look like the sane asylum. Facebook is the insane asylum. I'm sorry. I mean, I I run a Facebook page, Tros four one one. I see it every day. It's it's nauseating. It's like dealing with my seventh graders in adult bodies. Right. Like y'all have got to like people got to learn to just grow up and chill out and like freaking enjoy life, man. Like I think a lot of people just want to be pissed off about something. And so they're going to find something negative about this game. The naysayers People you're going to say, oh, well, Jordan is done. And someone was was texting me. There were radio hosts saying we should just cut a Bray, you know, Jose Abreu, and we should do this and that. And I'm like, hey, that's on them. That's that's not me saying that. But, Eric, I think that's why people come to us before they go even to the radio a lot of times, because we right. give a more rational approach to the Houston Astros. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about FanDuel, Brett. <laughs> uh, there you go. Thank you, Eric. Um, FanDuel, right now you can get a $200 on your first $5 bet or more if it wins. Go to FanDuel.com slash locked on. March Madness is here. NC State is trying to be a Cinderella team. The Rockets are trying to make the playoffs. The Astros are trying to do the first time everything on the field. So if you're a fan and you like dueling, you'll go to FanDuel. It is America's number one sports book. Just in time for the Final Four. Just in time for the NBA playoffs. And just in time for the summer to heat up with the boys of summer in H-Town. So if you need to go to FanDuel, do so right now. Go to FanDuel.com slash locked on and use the promo code locked on and you will get a hundred dollars. You will you will get um, on your first five dollar um, bet, you will get one hundred two hundred dollars in bonus bets with your first winning five dollar bet on FanDuel.com today. All right, guys, see, thank Eric, you. Hold, oh, see, Eric is wielding the power. Even are you on your phone like me? Yeah. Wow you you have so, you have great power. You have great power. Sorry. All right, guys. Thank you for making us your first listen on Apple, Odyssey, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. Go and check us out. But go and make us your uh, go and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube as well, and uh, go and uh, give us a big fat thumbs up. Also, go and check out Locked On Sports Day. It's um, all the news you need to know, twenty four seven hours. 24-7 a day. Now you can watch it on Amazon Fire TV. You can just go to uh, the free TV channels and just search baseball, Astros, and you can see us there, or you can see uh, the Locked On Sports today. So go check it out. And it's uh, really awesome. It was cool to see Brett and I on the screen the other day on my Fire Stick. To so, Or you can just go YouTube on your TV. So there's many different ways you can make the Locked On Astros podcast your first listen every day. So as I said earlier, uh, this is definitely a uh, a shot in arm the Astros needed. I don't think that they were down and out after the Yankees series. I think the Yankees came in and they were probably tired of um, of the Astros maybe basically taking care of business. And they, they came in uh, – ready and also they had somebody named Juan Soto. Juan Soto dominated that whole series. He uh, he is that missing piece I think the Yankees have been missing for a couple of years. Aaron Judge is a great player. I think that he's probably going to be one of the best players of this generation but I think they needed somebody like Juan Soto with his energy with with his uh, knack for driving and runs. So the Yankees are going to be a scary team. Do they have enough pitching? They keep on making trades. Who knows what if they're going to be um, 
a competitor for the World Series this year. But the Astros definitely are still a World Series competitor, even though uh, no team has really ever come back from own four, down own four that I could find uh, from starting off the season own four to win the World Series. But the Astros are not a typical team that you would think, oh, they they just suck. Oh, we suck again, like in Waterboy. I just think that they really had a lot of bad luck, and you hey. had relievers that normally do really good right brett exactly yes um i agree with everything you just said eric i'm gonna have to vacate the show because i've got to drive home still and okay. so um i'm gonna go and um y'all be looking for a um y'all be looking for a special tribute video for the ronald blanco no hitter the last two innings i am commentating i'm watching from my seat so i'm totally I'm totally okay with uh, putting it out there and publishing it. So I just wanted to thank y'all for tuning into Locked on Astros. I'm H.M. Wheelhouse. And, Eric, you can keep it going if you want. you got about four minutes left, but I've got to get on the road. Y'all have a good one. I love you guys. Um, y'all are the best fans in the world, and we couldn't get to 11,000 without y'all. Keep climbing. And don't forget, tonight at midnight, a premiere episode of Back to the Bullpen with Mike and Brett. And then check out Eric's Streaking Orange with PSF. And y'all have a good one. Eric, I'm out. Go Strohs. Okay. All right, peace out. All right, yeah, I'll go and stay on for a few more minutes. Uh, if y'all want to go and make some comments, I'll go and put some comments up there. But uh, let me go ahead and get rid of Brett uh, real quick. Let me change the layout. I've always wanted to do this. Bye, Brett. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Okay, so I think I got rid of him. Yeah, there. So um, let's go ahead and what what do y'all think about this game? What was your best part of this game? Uh, I mean, was were you? Let's talk about superstitions. Actually, are you superstitious? Are you one of those people that get um, like? I was trying to tell my girlfriend, I can't tell you what's going on, but in a little bit I'll tell you what's going on because I don't want to jinx it. So, are you one of those type of people? What do you do? Like, if you're if you're sitting somewhere, can you not move if it's during a no hitter? Do you have any superstitions or anything like that? So uh, let's talk about this and uh, everything. So um, the best part was of the game was the winning part. Okay, I guess winning. Uh, Looker six four three. Uh, yes. Um, so Pena breaking his home run, run drought. Uh, Charlie says. Yeah, I mean, he, this dude has not hit a home run since last July. So, yes, uh, I think Jeremy Pena hitting a home run was a pretty big part of the game. Um, big Boy says, I'm superstitious to the extreme. I am generally think I impact the game at home. Okay. Um, I think some of us feel that way, but I don't know if that's true. Uh, but uh, good job, Big Boy. I was the uh, – Brian says, I was totally the same way. I uh, told my wife I couldn't tell her what we were doing, and then I came uh, running on. Yeah, I'm at the hospital, and I was trying not to jump up and down and everything. And even yesterday, I was, we were at Easter dinner, and I was like, um, I, was, I was telling her, I'm like, if, we start, if I start jumping up and down, that means this was great cake because I was hoping the Astros would make that comeback yesterday. But it just it just wasn't made to be yesterday. So um, Joe says uh, he, he was there for the Daryl Kyle no-hitter. Uh, that was a long time ago. Um, that's kind of uh, that's kind of aging yourself there. I love Daryl Kyle. He was one of my favorite pitchers. Um, so keep uh, drinking on hope for the best. Yes. Uh, a no hitter. I don't cheer or move while we're in it. So I have a story. Um, a former pitcher that basically ratted out the Astros. You know who I'm talking about. Um, he was throwing no hitter for the Astros when he was still with them. And I was at a friend's house. And this is about, <coughs> it was when I was still married to my ex-wife. And it was about three blocks away. And so we're over there and we're watching a game and he was throwing a no hitter. And I was like, uh, I can't leave. 
I can't leave. And my wife's like, well, we got to go. Uh, so I'm like, look, I'll walk home. And so I did, uh, basically, I walked home and I think I did a podcast. I don't know uh, what podcast it was, Talking Shows, Walk on Astros, but I did a podcast walking home. And yeah, so sometimes I'm very superstitious. I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. But today, I honestly didn't know. I was too busy, like, going back and forth to an apartment, the hospital, everything that was going on. But it actually made it more enjoyable because there wasn't that stress and so guys the astros got their first win the season may not be salvaged yet but it's a start and guys once again thank you for making the lockdown astros podcast your first listen every day go and subscribe to us give us big fat thumbs up and go and uh, subscribe to us apple odyssey spotify wherever you listen to podcasts go and check us out and we will see you tomorrow and go stress. How do I end this? Uh, da, da, da. Give me a second. Da, 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 da.